Hi dear students, let's start our class. Our ninth chapter, Life of the Temporary Grassland. Previous class, we are discussed about what we mean by grassland, type of grassland, and the prairies, the climate, well, features of prairies and climate, the condition of climate, uh, climates of prairies. Okay, right? Yes. Today, we are going with the next concept that is flora and fauna. Flora and fauna. Okay. Flora. Fauna. That means the plants and the animals. Plants. The plants and the animals and the bear in the prairies region. So we are discussing about the features of prairies. We know that what do you mean by the prairies land? That is the grassland of the North America are known as prairies. Okay. So the prairies bounded with rocky mountains in the west side of North America and in the east it's bounded with the Great Lake. Right? Yes, we are discussing about that. Next, we are going for that what the climate, the summer season. In summer, uh, there is warm and also have 20 degree Celsius temperature. And the winter season is very cold. It's recorded in minus 20 degree Celsius in Canada. And also in the winter season, we can see that the snow, is a, the, that region is covered with snow. Okay. So, we already discussed about that kinds of features in uh, that particular region that is prairies. Okay, now we are going with the flora and fauna. That means the plant and the animals. The features of flora, uh, prairies, plants and the animals. That means the plants and animals. The plants and animals. Which means flora and Fauna, flora and fauna, right? And you all know that the prairies is also a grassland. And look at your textbook page number 65. We can see the figure of prairies. This is the grassland. We can see there is no trees, right? Normally or uh, practically there is no trees in prairies. So we can say that prairies are but uh, it's mostly we can say in free less or the free less or free from the trees or free less lands. So it is because full of grass, shrubs. Mostly we can see the shrubs in this region, right? Also we can see the shrubs. Mostly we can see the grasses in the region that is prairies. Okay, so in this prairies we can see, see uh, we can say that the prairies are practically tree free. That means we can uh, not see in the globe in the trees in that particular region. But the availability of water, when places have the, uh, much more available of the water, so the, we can say that the availability of water, but there are places where the availability of water, we can see several kinds of trees like willows, adobes, and kovalas grows in those regions. So we can see that. In the, prairie, in the region, in this particular region, prairies, in this particular region that is prairies, first of all we consider the case of plant, that means the flora, the case of plant region, that is in the case of flora. Mostly or practically there is no trees, practically. 
hilltops, we can see the trees such as willows. Willows. Next one that is adors. 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 The next one popas. We can see these kinds of trees in the region prairies. In the region prairies. Okay. So mostly or practically prairies are treeless land because it's full of grass. It's full of trucks. It's grassland. Okay. So prairies are practically treeless land but sometimes there is water availability in such places because of the water availability trees like willows, ardors and for, for poplars as we can see in this kinds of region several kinds of this kinds of trees and the cultivation the another one is the cultivation that means agriculture we know that there is a grassland and uh, maybe it's a we, we know that the climate of the region the rainfall is moderate and it's also helpful the growth of that grasses in that region right yes then how the people cultivate uh, their uh, crops in this region actually in this region there are several uh, crops are cultivated in the people or, or they are cultivated several crops and uh, they have several such areas have for life so many also so places they receive of rainfall over 50 centimeters in animal rainfalls is moderate we also discussed about the climate of uh, climate of uh, this prairie, uh, prairies and these areas also have a rainfall in about almost 50 centimeters so the places they receive their rainfalls the rainfalls almost they get the rainfalls almost 50 centimeter rainfalls and over and are suitable for farming as the soil is fertile because of this we can say that the soil is very fertile with the help of this waterfalls because uh, sorry rainfall because the rainfalls we they get or they receive around 50 centimeter rainfalls in that region and also it's help for farming it's also help farming and also the soil fertile so also the soil was very fertile because of that they are cultivating several crops like the main crops of this region which are the major crops of this region ah, there are mostly they are cultivated maize they are mostly cultivated maize and potatoes soya bean cotton and alpha alpha is also cultivated in this region so major crops which are the major crops of prairies major crops of prairies crops First, the one that is maize. Then, next they are cultivated potatoes. Potatoes. Next, they are cultivated what? Maize, potatoes, soya bean, right? Yes, soya bean. 
with USA, United States of America and Canada, right? So that is the flora. So we can say that in Greenland, uh, in the green land, that is known as the grassland. Most importantly, grassland is full of grass, and uh, actually the prairies. The prairies is full of grass and shrubs. We can we know that there is no trees. Actually, in fact, the prairies are treeless land.
American buffalo. Okay. So bison, or it is also called American buffalo. American buffalo. Okay. So which are the most important animals in this region that is prairies? Cattle. Cattle are one of the most important. So they are. Bye, thank you. 
or the animal is not a cement type of fellow. This is also one of the most important animal in prairie plants. So here we get buffalo. American buffalo. And also we have found different kinds of animals like rabbits. Fair dog. Rabbits, prairie dog, coyotes, coyotes, etc. are the major animals we can farm in prairies region or prairies land. Okay. The next concept that is the life of people in this region. They are prairies. Life of people in this prairies region. We know that most of the prairies land us we can found in this countries like the USA and sorry USA, United States of America and Canada, right? So we know America and Canada, the two countries are the developing countries. So we can say that in this country, the people was very hardworking people, right? Yes. And they have successfully harvested technologies to utilize for cultivating uh, their crops also, and they using several technology and technical wise for providing for their life in the developing manner. So we can. People of this region, prairies, we know that the region is a full of grass. There is no trees or that kinds of uh, etc. and kinds of things in this particular region. And we know that most of this region is full of some kinds of very different kinds of animals and kinds of crops. Like they are using for cultivation. And this this solution, this particular situation, will check the condition of their lifestyle. And also the surroundings and the infrastructure of these countries, we have found that they are the well developed nations in the world. And they have successfully harnessed the technology to utilize their rich natural resources. They are utilize their natural resources. Mostly they are used their natural resources. Natural resources in the technical way. They are used for technology. Use technologies. They are used for technologies and also they are used natural resources and two of the most developed human ways in the world that is USA and Canada. We also discuss their modification of USA and Canada. Maybe it's a dream place that is Canada and USA, one of the most important and developed nations in our world that is the two countries, uh, USA, USA and Canada. USA and Canada. So we have, it's also, these two countries also located in this region, prairies, right? Yes, and also the United States of America and Canada also included in this region, prairies. And the Canada and these scientific methods for cultivation. That is the most important. Scientific methods for cultivation. Scientific method. Method for cultivation. They are using some scientific method. We know that there is very little cultivation in that region. So because of that, they are using several scientific methods and agriculture activities and use of tractors. They are using tractors and harvesters and communists have made North America a surplus of food produce.
yourself. So they are using crackers, 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 and what? The next one that is harvesters. Harvesters, etc. are using for the agriculture activities. We know that the America is one of the most important food producer in the world. So the prairies are also known as the granaries of the world. Granaries of the world. So the prairies is also known as the granaries of world. Right? Yes. Granaries of world. Granaries of the world. Why it said without the proper agriculture activities, we cultivated several kinds of crops in a proper way. They use scientific methods for cultivation and they use new technologies for this harvesting and they also use tractors, harvesters, machines, etc. in their cultivation activities. So if we know that the food production is very remotely increased in such areas because of this set of reason. The also is uh, previous is known as the granary of the world. Eh? They are known as the granary of the world. Look at your textbook that is a compound. A single machine, a uh, glass ring. You can see this is the picture. You can see in YouTube several boring videos for cultivation, lab and tear, and some kinds of uh, these kinds of crops also cultivated this method. Mostly, uh, most of the foreign countries are also using, mostly in the prairies. The prairie cities, or sorry, in the prairie region, you can see these kinds of machine they are using to cultivate their their crops. Look at this. It's a combined, it's a single machine which can combine the task of sewing, plugging, and the pressuring. That is a three in one. It's also using three. There's a machine. You can see there are several hands or uh, several sharp machines for plugging and uh, pressuring and sewing. This also doing in one machine. These kinds of machines are using for uh, agriculture activities in the region prairies. Okay, so we can say it's, uh, in agriculture center, when the agriculture center is very safe for in prairies because they use, the people use in a proper way for the cultivation of these kinds of crops. They are using natural resources for their agriculture activities and they use Uh, 
distance from the Great Lakes to the Atlantic coast in the east. One of the most important dairy farm is held in the near the Great Lakes in the uh, where Atlantic coast in the world is also situated in this uh, region. And dairy farming and extensive agriculture both promote setting about the food producing industry. So because of this I, uh, dairy farming and agriculture, and agriculture, proper agriculture, it's also providing more and more food products in, um, in this world or in the industrial sector. So they, they are food producing industries. So they have the food producing industries. Food producing food producing industries. Food producing industries. Okay, so most of the people are doing agriculture activities. They are using several kinds of technology, scientific methods, tractors, houses, etc. They use for uh, growth of the uh, crop of their agriculture sector. At the same time, there is in the, there is the industrial or industry sectors farm, dairy farming, one of the most examples, uh, important thing in the Paris region. Because of this dairy farms and agriculture, they have produced, they are food producing industries in their own. They are food, they are their own food producing industries. And because of this, then we can see that the large uh, surplus of wheat, they are the large producers of wheat in America and also they produce milk. Milk is also main producing in the world. Uh, and large mineral deposits. The next feature of this region that is large mineral deposits. Mineral deposits. The next one that is large amount of mineral deposits was one of the example, one of the most important thing in the prairies region. And for example, Coal and iron. Coal and iron was the most important material or metal or the minerals they get. Coal and iron. Coal and coal and iron is mostly they get from the land. So that is the large mineral deposits in the regions also help for the development of that particular region. For the development of this particular region and it's also a good they have a good network of roads and communications and railway. The transport system was very uh, well and or, or very developed in this region. They have a regular and uh, proper road, railway and canals in the region have made the most industrialized region in the world. So they have a proper or Develop or good network of good network of transport. Transport that means in road and railway. Road and railways. Road and railways. It also creates a proper industries or a
development of the industries and agriculture and other activities coal and iron they are the common and i engage easily in this region because of that the several industries are also held in this region and the good network of transport that means the road and railway is very uh, good at this region because of that the communication or one means to another or the transport system is increased the trade will also increase because of that it's help for development of industries in the such region and also the world canals why for their agriculture activities for their available proper availability of water because of that this region has become more and more popular with industries or the industrial uh, sectors or the industrial region in this world so we can say that the primary source one of the most industrial region in our world okay Yeah. 
okay so this is for today and let's wind up our class read your text carefully and take